Hello, hi. Um, my name is Joshua Williams. I'm a senior at Gordon College, and I, for my case study, I wanted to focus on the issue and problem of um, tunes media and how we can more properly implement ideas of hev heavier subject matter um, into children's media um, in a way that is um, easily digestible for um, the child's mind, uh, which is why I made a documentary focused on After Last Airbender surrounded by this topic so I could show how this so properly did it in a way that is easily um, digestible for children into so they can easily internalize it and, um, and have these firm foundations of um, moral stances and uh, and proper etiquette, which is why I interviewed nine people who saw it as a child and um, see how they grew up having Avatar be one of their favorite shows um, and have it just all like influence their life, but in a good way, because like every single person I know who uh, watched Avatar as a child, I've, I've been a like, really, really um like insightful and good people and i feel that is not just a coincidence i feel like what we consume and what we um take in as a child like is important like that that stuff molds our character and as much as i love all cartoons i feel like we do not have enough that um that is focused on how we um on focus on like the the real world situations and how those things are not always black and white but they're gray and how we how do we confront a world that we don't understand and I feel like Avatar does that perfectly which is why that was like the main focus of this of this whole entire documentary but what is Avatar let's say you don't even know what Avatar is let me give you a 30 second rundown of what Avatar Last Airbender is. Avatar Last Airbender follows um, a character named Aang. He is the last remaining airbender um, because his whole entire family got wiped out. Um, and he and he is now set a hundred years in the future into a world that is overtaken by the Fire Nation. And he who he is and he's the Avatar whose his sole purpose is to bring balance to the world. So the whole entire show is him coming into this world that he doesn't even recognize anymore, trying to learn all the elements so he could so he could gain enough power to defeat the Fire Lord, who is the tyrannical ruler who is currently oppressing the whole entire world under his um, firm firm grip. So from that 30 second piece alone, we can already see that this confronts a lot of like different ideas of how, um, like how, like, people into a world you don't recognize um how do you adapt and how do you grow within that world which i feel like is something that most kids are used to like most kids don't know the real world to an extent that i feel like that's in the egg and uh, we see that a lot and uh within the show and it makes us um feel more of a connection to them with the communication that the show is doing to us as the audience uh, the audience for this is um very interesting because I feel like the audience for this work is I have two. One is like a film um film festival audience because I feel like a film festival will really appreciate how does it formatted and how does it made to like understand what I'm trying to get across and the media I'm trying to get across in with a documentary. I think they'll really enjoy that. A second audience I like I, I would I'll be happy if they saw it is the is people within the film industry, people who are writers, producers, people who are inspiring writers, producers, so they know that these type of cartoons that are more um, grounded in the sense of um, in sense of themes uh, are important and they do stick out, and they do stick out a, a bunch of, 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 among all the, the rest of the cartoons. Uh, because there are some people I know, like, who have seen Avatar who consider it to be the best cartoon ever made. And I feel like that is not just a coincidence. Um, because I feel like having it be so um, influential in how it confronts these things really does just give it so much character and charm. So I feel like people who are writing and who are future writers or are currently writing or future producers or current producers will want to see the impact and effect a show like this, a show like a show like this, and shows like this in general have on people in the audience, um, because communication through media is uh, really important. And I feel like, and I feel like the deeper the message, um, the deeper the connection you have with the people you're uh, entertaining. Luckily, while working on this, there were not many constraints that I had 
thankfully because uh, Gordon had all the camera equipment and also some of my roommates had the camera equipment that I could use to film and record this. So I'm very blessed to have that happen. And um, also, I was also really blessed to have all the people who were very enthusiastic to come and um, and talk about Avatar because, um, like I said, it is so held close to the hearts of the people who watch the show because it is so personal, the connections we have to the story and the characters. So just having the prompt of being like, hey, do you want to do you want to talk about Avatar for a bit and um, tell us tell me how it has um, been a connection to you as an audience member? Um, they were all overjoyed and ecstatic to just be a part of it, which I'm so thankful for because that, that just made the process so much easier. Um, how I feel um, the role of communication um, has to do with social needs. I feel like that has a lot to do with it in a way that um, uh, I feel like communication is is just so important because I feel like children are the future. So many things are skewed and and um, and, and and taught wrong because they learn about because people learn about these things way later in life and not properly. I feel like having these things implemented as a kid um really makes them think about it in a in a really early on make them find their own place within these ideas and also bring the conversation like uh when i when i watched avatar when i was a kid when it brought up the whole thing of like killing the fire lord or not i was very confused about that and i talked to my brother about that and i talked to my, my mom about that and i like just bring some of these conversations rather than me finding out later just like if someone is truly evil is killing them the only way to to get rid of them like it's, like that is something that is like you don't see much in cartoons and you don't even see much in like life until way later that whole entire conflict of ideas it's just it's i feel like communication um really does help the social need of just building a strong foundation overall um while working on this i learned two main things about myself the first thing being i'm not an i realize i'm not an editor which is really really big because for the last three years i was like oh i'm gonna be an editor i'm gonna be an editor when i grow up i'm gonna do this this but while i was working on this i was like this is not me this is not what i was built to do um i'm still trying to but the, I, I still trying to figure out what it is um now because i just learned it was not it but it's also exciting it's exciting but scary to like know this because like it's exciting because i'm just, like now i get to like branch out and see what else i can do it's scary because i'm, I'm a senior now i'm going i'm going to the working world and now i'm like I have to figure out what I got to do, but I feel like it's good to learn it now rather than having a job of it later and be like, I don't like this. So that's something huge to learn by myself. Second thing I learned is um, the communicate. I need to be uh, more focused forward of communication because I always assume things just fall into place and just work out. But when working to when working with other people, you gotta be sure you communicate with others and have make sure everything is um, in place so everything just falls naturally. Uh, because the source of all conflict is lack of communication and you gotta just have that communication available and just there and i just think i knew i need, I need to continue to work on and i cannot wait to like during the rest of the school year and also like even after that into like my rest of my life just learning more about communicating and like learn how to communicate better because communication is so 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 important and uh i just have so much more to learn honestly <laughs> um but Thank you so much for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed the documentary. There are there are spoilers in it, so I'm sorry if you have not seen the show and you're planning to. Um, but there are spoilers, and um, I hope you do enjoy it. If you do end up watching it, um, there's so much time and love and effort put into put into it by myself and everyone who's in it. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Thank you.